Good evening. I'm going to call the Board of Health meeting to order at 6.32 p.m. If everyone could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. I'm going to take number three before we do number two because number three um, is discuss the waiving of the permitting fees for the Dudley Farm Day events. And number two is going to take us a little bit longer of a discussion. So um, Dudley's having its first, in, uh, first farm days up on the town common on Saturday, October 3rd, 4th, 5th. Thank you. <laughs> and um, what they're looking sure. to do, excuse me, you are, <laughs> that's okay, um, is that they will have to, some may have to obtain a temporary food permit for the day. And that is a $25, is it $25? Typically $25. $25 fee. So what we've been asked is if we would, where it is their first time, if we would waive the $25 fee for the permits that need to be filed. So they still would come in to the Board of Health, file the permits, but they're looking for us to waive the $25 fee. So I will open it. I make a motion to uh, waive the permitting fee for a Dudley Farm Day event on Saturday, October 5th and that's of $25. And all of, the, all of the vendors. And all of the vendors, including all of the vendors. That is that all town. vendors that are even if they're from out of town? Are there going to be vendors from out of town? This is just uh, I for farm days. Is it just Dudley? It's just Dudley people. It's just Dudley residents that'll be at the farm days event. So. Isn't October fifth the strawberry festival? No, it's the same date as the apple. It's the apple fest and oh, the black okay. and the black tavern craft fair. Yes, oh, okay. yes, it is going on all in the okay. at the same time. So I have a motion. Do I have a second? Yes. So okay. Wait, wait. Yes. Do that. they still have to submit an application? Yes. Yes. She's they're yes. still subject to inspection. And they're still subject to inspection. Just We're no just strictly people. waiving the fee. So they still have to go through the whole process. It's just that we're not going to charge them for the first farm days. Sounds good. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye passes unanimously. Lori made the motion, Roberta seconded it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, moving on to number two, animal regulation discussion. It's the, to review and discuss proposed regulations and feedback from the public, public hearing dated 8-20-2019. First off, I would like to thank everyone who came to the public hearing the last time and um, we appreciate all the input and the great suggestions that we've received. It's going to be our goal this evening to work with those suggestions to revise the regulations during this discussion tonight. Just to let you know, tonight is not a public hearing. We're not taking a vote. There's not going to be any voting on done on the regulations. This is just strictly a working meeting for us to take all the information and turn it through. Um, second, just something that has been, we just wanted to clarify, the Board of Health has always had an animal inspector. She does animal inspections yearly. She goes out and inspects all types of animals in the town that have been registered with the Board of Health. These regulations were being created as more formal guidelines for her as than just the informal guidelines, you know, that she works with at this time. And just, you know, Last year, she inspected 26 different properties. So this has been ongoing since, I, as long as I've been on, and I'm sure as long as you've been on and off the Board of Health, with the Board of Health, so. And um, then before we go any further, I know Tom wants to make a, do you wanna make a statement? Well, I mean, one of, one of the things that, that kind of concerned me was that uh, um, it, I just don't want people to get the misconception that we're out there trying, that the Board of Health is out there trying to uh, uh, create rules and, and regulations for no reason. Um, 
Fortunately, there's an awful lot of animal lovers that are out there in the town. Um, unfortunately, the town's zoning regulations do not address the keeping of animals on properties less than five acres. So as an in indication, I think we there's a, there was a general consensus that maybe we should look at something to fill that void. I'm not sure exactly who said it or who suggested it, but it was something that the Board of Health took up as a part of their responsibility because we do keep uh, tabs on, on the, they call them, according to the state, they call it the herd. Um, one of the things that we've known, we've, we've gained experience at in the complaint department is sometimes the mishandling, uh, the, uh, uh, the complaints that go along with a lot of issues in keeping of animals keeping animals on their own property, doing this, doing that, <clears throat> not having enough space, having um, um, a lot of other issues that they expo people expose themselves by the keeping of animals. So one of the things I, I, I looked at was trying to attempt to, um, to clarify things and simplify things by rewriting the, a preamble or the preamble to our keeping of regulations. Um, would state something like, whereas pursuant to the, the uh, uh, Town of Dudley zoning bylaw, the keeping of animals on properties greater than five acres is allowed and will not be subject to the Dudley Board of Health regulations for the keeping of animals. The Town of Dudley Board of Health keeping of animals regulations hereby addresses the issue of careful, thoughtful, and responsible keeping of animals on parcels less than five acres in area. And that probably would be more of the opening, what, what the intent and the purpose is. And it falls into really, uh, like I said, those, those three key words, careful, thoughtful, and responsible keeping of animals. Um, the town of Dudley has already voted in the past in, by zoning that anything under five, five acres is not farming. It's not subject to farming. It doesn't enjoy the agricultural protection of, of zoning. The, uh, uh, a lot of people like to be small farmers or have pets. And in this particular case, because it's not full agricultural, the, mine may be an oversimplification of calling them pets, but they are pets. There are some people, if they have enough land, they might end up getting uh, yield some small amount of product for their own personal use. Um, but again, the, the bigger and the more complex it becomes, the more of a, a uh, um, potential nuisance you can, you can be derived out of it, depending on the size of the land and how many, how many animals are, are there on the property. Um, so my opinion, I mean, with that in mind, I would strongly recommend that you, you pursue it on, it, it be pursued on that avenue, that we're there to fill the void between and try to create an equitable system. Um, I don't think that was our original intent, though, was to, I mean, the zoning has their bylaws, and ours was just to give regulations to allow people who wanted to have animals on smaller parcels, guidelines, to go by, um, you know, I, it, I don't think our intent was because regardless, you still have to follow zoning. Whatever zoning has, you still have to do. Right, and I understand. We're not affecting the zoning bylaws. You know what I mean? They still have their process to go through. Yes, now it obviously, um, if it's less than five acres now, it gets denied and it has to go to ZBA. Right. Um, and again, unless they change the zoning bylaw that states that right. um, on parcels less than five acres, and that might be another approach to go to ZBA or to the planning board and the zoning board about, have the town zoning regulations modified to allow, for, what I understand, one of the biggest objection, or a big objection, is the $400 fee I believe it's a four hundred dollar fee to go it's to one hundred and fifty dollars for a special permit through the ZBA, but then you have all the, the other advertisements that go with the, it. 
the butters lists and everything else that could be up to sense. as much as four hundred dollars i heard yeah. um, versus if you had a, a zoning bylaw in place that addressed the zero to five gap maybe a permit a special permit could be acquired for uh, for right. a reasonable um, amount of money um, um, dependent upon your ability to comply with the keeping of animals regulations by the right. board of health right and another subject to another one of our intentions was to we're not being notified if people have animals and we need to be notified so that she can perform her animal inspections which exactly. is required by the state so this was a way of you know here are the guidelines give us a call let us know and will come out, make sure that everything's in a good situation. Well, not will come out, sorry. You'll come out. <laughs> everything's in a good situation and things are being taken care of properly. And just, just also, just as a point of information, there may be one or two areas of town where it's illegal to keep animals at all. Um, mm -hmm. And both of them have with, uh, are addressed in Title V, uh, where they have uh, certain nitrogen sensitive loading requirements for zone one that's within the wellhead protection district right. um, you can't have you can't raise or breed animals in those spots um, so there may already be other things in place but uh, um, with that being said that's that's all i have to offer at this time the rest of it i mean it's standard parameters protocols mm -hmm. uh, we did, we did get some good feedback. Um, Absolutely. And yeah. I think that what the we... voices were, people were very um, interactive and had some very good... You just want to throw stuff at me tonight. Tonight. I just put the pen down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think what we should do is go through it. You guys can, you know, tell me, remember about what, what we mm -hmm. thought about, you know, what you wrote down. I know everybody was taking notes last time, what we and discuss what we think we should change and what we think we should do. So, um, I so see. I see where you, in, you put in a, regarding the roosters. Is that, is um, that? That was oh, in there. That was already in there? Yep. Okay, if so I rooster. may, on roosters? Yes. There's a, there's a new, it's not so, so new. There is a product out there, it's called No Crow. They have No Crow collars that you can put on roosters they do work. They don't. Uh, uh, they're humane. They don't negatively impact the the rooster, other than its actual crowing. It doesn't allow the neck to blow up full size for crowing. They can still make noises. They can eat. They can drink. It doesn't affect their neck span. All of that. It's a product that's now being used out there. Uh, a lot of towns have addressed that. They're putting. In, you can have a rooster, but as long as you have a no crow collar on them. They do work. Okay. So, just to clar clarify a couple things, like in the first section, um, the regulation to cr control the amount of certain domesticated animals and fowl, including but not limited to, it's we. I know we've been accused of singling out chickens and roosters, and that's not it. This is all where it's all animals. It's this. Those happens to be. Those particular ones happen to be the ones that we've received complaints about with abundance of in small areas. So that's why we felt we needed to do some regulation. Um, obviously, if Jen went out and she saw 12 horses on a half acre, that's something she's going to address. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just um, so. It, it does, this is for all animal regulations, it's not just for chickens, roosters ducks we're not it's it's every animal um, okay. so anything that you wanted to add or change in section one we can add I think we need to add the um, the rabbits to the the next line including but not limited to oh, the inside yeah inside owners um, so animals that are normally kept in inside an owner's residence dwelling included but not limited limited to dogs cats ferret fish and there are indoor rabbits okay 
Okay. And I think that we need to somehow work in the careful, thoughtful, the careful, thoughtful, responsible actions taken by the board. Right into this first, first paragraph somewhere. What was that again? The line that you said. The careful, thoughtful, oh, okay. and responsible. <laughs> the careful, thoughtful, and responsible keeping of animals. Okay. Responsible keeping of animals. So that will go in the first. Um, where do we want to put the. Down under the intent for this regulation is to any in that in that area. I think that might be the only. Yeah. Does that sound? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, towards the end of the first paragraph, the intent for this regulation is to enhance the quality of the town's citizens, to general public. public from damage, injury, and illness that may be caused, and the careful, thoughtful, and responsible keeping of animals. That sounds good. And foul. <laughs> Do you understand? Uh, I'll look at what you wrote, but I, I have yeah, okay. here. I just want to make sure you're, no, you're on the same. It. I'm on the page. And uh, let me just add that up. Okay. All right, section two, the animal regulations. Um, let me look. Shall we permit it upon granting an annual permit? Um, we, I know we had discussed about the provisions of this regulation shall not apply to farm properties of agricultural operations recognized under Mass General Law, Chapter 48, Section 3. So that everybody's good with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then number one, I think that was pretty much, did anybody have anything through there? No. That was all about the, That's pretty basic. Was okay. there a question on, uh, on the differentiating it says or keeping the animal keeping of animals or fowl or we are, are fowl not animals um, we were just advised oh, to list it both ways we were just advised by town council okay. to list it as animals and fowl right. that's I just wanted to know if we needed to modify that statement I can we can definitely double check when we send it in by all means but sure. what do you guys we're in section two yes, yes. About section two. yes. Yeah. I would Double check, but I think it should be clarified. Okay. So then, number two, property owners, this is where we are going to get into some discussions. Property owners on lots less than five acres may keep animals and fowl as defined in this regulations, provided that all legal requirements, including Board of Health permitting, are met. So, um, number two, number 2A. 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 So, no, we had discussed no more than six individual animals or fowl as defined in this regulation might be permitted on lots for up to one acre. So, I know there was some discussion did some did anyone have any other I know a lot of suggestions were thrown at us some good things so did we want to we feel like that's a fair number because we have to do we want to take into consideration chickens that are aging out right right do we want to take into consideration the aging of like aging out of chickens, the, the layers right. that are aging out? So instead of restricting it to six, do we feel like we should adjust that number a little bit for an up to one acre size lot? I think so. I think, I think so. so. What's a fair number? If you want, sure. We'll just keep the comments short for everyone, not just not not. <laughs> I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. <laughs> First of all, it's animals, you're starting animals and fowl, okay? Six horses is a lot different yes. than mm -hmm. six chickens. Right. Right. right, and that's what. So I think that, you know, that the limitation that we're seeing here on chickens on per, eight, per acre seems to be a little bit mm, extreme. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, if the animals, the primary thing is if the person having the animals, which is the problem we're having now, we've been having this meeting because we have some idiots. Okay? Yeah. 
And if you're going to have an any animal, all right, you provide and you take care of it according to the, the standards that have to be there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I've been doing it for a number of years, and it just seems like the limitations you have here on are extremely low. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on record from the last meeting. Absolutely. I got 58 hens at the moment and one very happy rooster. All right. I have no complaints from my neighbors. I have adequate room. They're always fenced in unless they decide to fly the coop. And then they usually don't come back because the, the local coyote or fox gets them. Great. Great food. Yeah. <laughs> so. And just overall, I think as we're kind of smashing the egg with a sledgehammer oh. here, that animal control needs some guidelines. The rooster, in my opinion, is the barking dog. And the loose chickens, before we had the leash law and we enforced it, we had dogs running around everywhere. They don't have that anymore. They got enforced. Mm -hmm. So I think simple enforcement on those two things, two items, <coughs> it's simple. And I think it, Mr. Purcell's idea of maybe lowering the zoning size is a, sounds very good to me. Unfortunately, we don't have control over that, and but I completely understand. And who's Thank to say you. these couldn't be changed if somewhere down the road zoning does get changed? Who's to say that whatever we agree on today on our regulations couldn't be adapted yep. at some point as well? Right, but again, when you're talking about six individual animals or fowl, again, horses and cows. They are, are different. Six pigs right. and six oh. chickens. Right. And that's, I do understand. Yes. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Mr. Joseph. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for your <coughs> thoughtful construction of the regulations and your continued uh, careful review of what you will finally produce. I'd like to offer a couple of suggestions for now. God knows if there will be more. But first is that uh, you may want to consider grandfathering in a property, not a person, but a property that currently exceeds the amounts that you've specified, the 6, the 12, and the 18. A and that's common sense. Some of them do generate some income, um, and others raise uh, uh, breeding chickens uh, or uh, uh, show birds. And if they've got young ones that are involved in that, I'm sure you'd like to see them grandfathered in. And on the, the issue that was just raised, and you, you asked the question, Madam Chairman, what would the new, or what would we have for a number? I think what you, what you may want to consider is that any of those limits, 6, 12, and 18, may be appealed to the Board of Health either not to exceed twice that number or may appeal to the Board of Health um, based, uh, and not put a number on it, based on receiving approval on a case-by-case -case basis. So if someone has or wants 14 chickens where there's allowed six, but the inspections show they're well cared for, mm -hmm. there's no complaints from the neighbor, the coop is of sufficient size of a minimum of two square feet per. The yard is fenced. And even if the animals have, in fact, uh, in fact, been inoculated. So there's a lot of things that you would take into consideration mm -hmm. to grant an appeal. And I think if you have that in there without a number to be specified, you can take it on a case-by-case -case basis. And I'm sure you'd all make the right decision. So. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Do we have a... Uh, we have a variance. In we have a variance? Okay, we do we have, have a variance. We have a variance that does not cost anything to come for a variance to the Board of Health. It's no fee. Um, it's the only thing would, um, when we, ha when the Board of Health has a variance, it just is the advertising in the newspaper that there's a public hearing. Right. Yeah, it, but there's no fee to the Board of Health or anything. So, yeah, I know, I know. Um, one thing, let, we're going to be going through A, B, actually A, B, C, D. So, the, the one that refers setbacks. Mm -hmm. There's a little mi mix up here on this. I, the, B, the, B is eliminated, I so know. B goes on to the second page, and it ends up ending with G. Yes. My apologies on that print. That's okay. Um, the setbacks one we're that just under setbacks we're just gonna stay in there to refer to the town of Dudley zoning bylaws that way there's no conflict there's nothing they whatever the zoning bylaws say is what needs to be abide so we, don't. we have no control over that <laughs> So let's think about the animal numbers. Did you say something about just, did you just comment on zoning? I'm sorry. Yes, which the is, setbacks. Which one is that? Uh, it would be E, which is D. D. So <laughs> was there consideration for removing the setbacks and removing the, the refer to zoning? All instead? I'm putting is setbacks refer to okay. the town of Dudley zoning bylaws. And we're removing all of that. Yep. Mm -hmm. On, on B, do you want to address the issue of, uh, of roosters or not? For uh, no roosters over the age of four months? Yep. Um, as, as explained to a, f a few of the foul caretakers, it's a kind of a necessary, uh, roosters are necessary for the flock. Well, that's what, flock. at the last meeting we discussed that that's why we have a variance is that they could come in front of us, uh, you know, and how do you, how do you say this without, but having a rooster on a half acre in a, you know, where your backyards are backing up to each other is different than having a rooster on two acres of land out when I, you have trees surrounding. So that's why we thought if I'm, let me know if mm -hmm. I'm misstating anything, that we would use the variance as a tool for the roosters. Okay. And decisions could be made as you brought up where right. Jen and could go and right. check and out they the would come area, in. talk right. to the neighbors, mm -hmm. make sure that everybody's right. copacetic with the yep. rooster living there. Yep. Yeah. Just to kind of, that, that way there is something in place. Right, there always is place. something, but it depends, mm -hmm. not to be, but it does depend where you are mm -hmm. as to, as it would, as to, I think it should depend where you are. If you have an apartment, you shouldn't have four dogs, you know, mm -hmm. four large dogs, let's say, as opposed to, again, being out in, with a couple acres, having more dogs, it, it, different scenarios. Okay. So I think that's what we had talked about. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're going to come back to the number of animals in a few. We're going to work okay. through a little bit more. You can, this way you can think on it. Mm -hmm. what might be going so let's look at f uh, well it's actually sorry it, it was e. g but it's f oh no oh, you're on e, e. <laughs> so d is on hold right no, we did d, d no d we didn't do we're going to come back up to the number of d is c c right. is b the we're going to come back to the numbers of all those mm -hmm. in a little bit we're going to continue on so that yeah okay excuse me you can think you can think so e any person or persons who have in their possessions or control any domestic animal or fowl is defined. That's just being responsible mm -hmm. for five. I didn't think we had anything. Nope. Um, F. I'm sorry, sir. Remove animals or fowl entirely. If it's dead, what health There is no other secondary way to abate the nuisance. Oops, sorry. That was me. Sorry. <laughs> and then. G, I think anything on F from anyone? Oh, I don't think anything so. on G? 
Okay. Um, let's look at enforcement and penalties in section three. Any questions on the enforcement or penalties? No. And because we're average when, from all the other towns. That right. Right. Yeah. Right. right. So then uh, compliance deadline. Uh, we had three months to comply with its requirements once, whenever the. It all passed. Right. And then section five was the variance. Uh, that the Board of Health may in its sole discretion vary the provisions of this regulation after a hearing. It, the Board finds that the requested variance is not more detrimental to the public health than full compliance with the regulations. Uh, such variance shall be only granted following notice to abutters within 300 feet of the property and shall be subject to a yearly renewal. Again, it's not that you have to come back in front of us every year. It's that Jen would go out, make sure everything's as it should be, animals are being well taken care of it's That's not for the state it's a state right, law right it's not that they have so. to come back in front of us right. so uh. do you use the same form that you use for the barn inspection yes uh, would do you want to show to what state. that form looks like because we have 23 26, 26, 26 that we inspected last year the Chen inspector so there they are these are the ones that you have so this is what you fill out and goes yep. to the state and we keep a record of as well mm -hmm. okay did someone have a question? I'm sorry. If you can come right up, just identify yourself. Sorry, if I don't see, because I'm not always paying attention, just flag somebody. Sandy Leto, 38 West Dr. Mm -hmm. Um I just had a question on the, um, the, the variant shall only be granted following notice to abutters within 300 feet of mm -hmm. the property issued. Is that another? That's just a ma regular mailing that does not have to be done certified anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's, we were notified that it can just be just a mailing. Just, just a regular mailing, and yep. we don't have to go get the list for $35 from the town again. You already have the list. So have <laughs> Is that what it here. costs? 35 Yeah. Okay. It's not certified mail? No, it does not have to be. Can they get away with just putting an ad in the newspaper? Well, the ad in the newspaper was, I can't remember how much that was. I'm, I'm just wondering if, did you have to if, run the if ad the for article two weeks in the for, newspaper that, for the other, suffice. our ad, uh, for, Board of Health, it's one week. We only have to run the ad. Okay. Just so that. And um, I'll look into, um, we're trying to make it as So we'll, it, we'll sort of figure it out yeah. that, so as we go. I, let just, me, I didn't know if you had it worked out yet. <laughs> no, by all means. But that's, um, so let me see if we can just advertise or just do a mailing or what, you know. If, well, if, I think if the neighbors are complaining, you'll, oh, yeah. somebody, I'll hear about you'll it. You'll know. So <laughs> at that point, we can talk. Right. But right. okay. No, so no. it's not another full. Okay. No. Okay. That's no. All I to let me. Um, I'm going to look into that a little bit more with town council, just so I can get the minimal that we can. You know what I mean? Yes. We don't want to make it required. Go mm -hmm. through right. all this. We just want to make sure that if you come in front of us for a variance, it gets posted and we're good. Okay. So let me find out the. Easiest way to do it. Okay. okay. Right, thanks. She, she is going through zoning right now, so it's all been posted. It's all been mailed out for that purpose. For zoning, right. It might just kind of streamline in. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I want to double check on that because I'm not 100% sure because I know there's been some new regulations just got passed, so let me look into. Look into. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Uh, section six. I think that's pretty. Any issues with that? I don't see any. Um, okay. Section seven, the yearly permit. Um, the permit for keeping domesticated animals or fowls covered by this regulation shall expire on June 30th of each year and may be renewed at the discretion of the Board of Health. Again, that's Jen going out doing her barn inspections. Um, there will be, this is what we had discussed and let me know. Um, 
there'll be no fee for the first year Correct. and then um, a fee I think we're going to be will state will be determined for the second year yeah the fee uh, depending on might have to it would should be suggested that the the fee is to cover the cost of the uh, that's the yeah. animal inspector and the Board of Health for uh, uh, for the keeping of records because we have it worded uh, there will be no fee for the first year and then the fee for the second year and subsequent shall be figured by the cost mandated to pay the animal inspector and the number of yearly inspections just to kind of validate right right but I don't foresee it being a huge you know fee that's not that's not the intent well, it, but it is to no the it should be a reasonable fee right. to absolutely reasonably right. compensate the uh, because uh, the animal inspector mo majority of your other towns <clears throat> not do, looking to make money no they do charge for animal inspections which I don't know why we I don't know if they used to years ago or but I know that there's never been a charge for animal inspections and I don't know I don't why. not not in Dudley no no, no they don't uh, generally it's because the state requires it right right um, and there's no fee never been I've never seen a fee structure attached mm -hmm. to it so. so they must just fee for the permit right and then right okay yes you can come on up speak louder Victor Kelgren 64 Airport Road yeah I, I've never paid a fee I've been right farming in Dudley for 40 some years and it's never been a fee so at some point someone comes to the Ag Advisory Commission I want to have a little idea of what it would cost because people who come to a right to farm town and are looking to buy land need to know these things right mm -hmm. and we're we're again we're not looking you know I'm not I don't it's not my intention to charge out outrageous fees it's looking just to cover things that we have and um, you know depending on let's see if you I can't even think but it is something we would like to know. oh well, as soon as believe me once we the first year there will be no fee because it's it's kind of uh, in the works. get your feet in wet kind of you know and as soon as we we get all the information then we would establish a fee we would post it everywhere I really like uh, selectman Joseph's idea of grandfathering mm -hmm. is that possible to work in along or instead of now this first year instead of uh, getting a variance in other words this farm here has 30 chickens and maybe they only have an acre but no complaints ever has a rooster no complaints ever and has been selling eggs for a long time I, I'm not thinking of a specific oh, no, no. one but I, I, I know there are those specific ones and so this first year they're grandfathered in and also which uh, mr. Joseph also mentioned and he didn't mention when he came up here uh, actually that farm should be grandfathered in so that if a son or a daughter you know takes over the business of selling eggs or selling uh, breeding stock poultry or whatever that they'd be able to keep the farm <laughs> So it wouldn't be that hard to put a grandfather clause in, clause in, I don't think. No, and I think what, what something that I'm going to reach out to and try to is, you know, we, we have the lists of people who have been inspected year after year after mm -hmm. year after year, and I know how many chickens you have, and I know right. how many uh, adult ponies or <laughs> different things that... But, but those figures don't match what's in that envelope. <laughs> no, but see, and that, that was one of our things is that not everybody is notifying us so that she can do her barn inspections and that we can make sure that we're, the state is aware of everything that's going on. So that is one of the reasons to bring this to the attention, you know, because, like, yes, we have all the big farms, but we do have many smaller properties that I know have had chickens forever yeah. or have had horses forever and that she does go out to so and, and it, if there's no there, complaint I'm sorry oh no no no. there's also a lot of them that I don't know about exactly if, if there's no complaints this first year they couldn't be grandfathered in and not have to do a variance no complaints you know and and then if someone moves into town next year oh I want 40 chickens on a half acre sorry this is the 
I, that's, I mean, that's a Just I trying to save some can. of the farms in Dudley. No, I And I call understand. these small places farms. Uh, you know, Mr. Koss here, I plow his driveway, been plowing it for 40 years, <laughs> and you know, he sells uh, honey and eggs, correct? Yes. You know, he's been there forever. That Grandfather I of in. I, <laughs> I know Mr. Koch has been there forever. But I've been there a little bit longer. The, the, uh, <laughs> if I may, Madam Chairman, the thing about permits. Permits are usually issued to individuals. Mm -hmm. They're not required. They're not necessarily, de they are not deeded, deeded rights. Right. That would be a license. And this is not, these are not licenses. This is just the permit. Right. These are permits to perform, perform an act. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That makes sense. <coughs> so, so then we go back to <laughs> the number of. So I don't know. We need to discuss what you, what you guys are thinking, or. Can I ask Jen? A Absolutely. Question? What, you you visit many properties. Yes. I also grew up in this town on Mill Road. We had animals in my backyard. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think we were a large parcel of land at the time, and you know, we managed it. What's what? Six animals, six horses on up to one acre. <laughs> I'm just looking to get an animal inspector's opinion. Well, we look at many things. We look at the condition of the animals, mm -hmm. um, how many animals versus how much land you actually own because each animal needs to have adequate living arrangements, has to have its own space, has to be able to move around freely. Mm -hmm. um, yes, horses are going to absolutely need a big chunk of space. A big chunk of space. And, you know, so, I mean, there's, there's many aspects that you look for when you do an inspection. Each animal is completely different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you can have, you know, a pony versus a draft. You know, like, a pony doesn't need as much space as a draft horse does so I mean you just got to look at the overall picture on you know are they are the chickens or horses being you know boarded in like muddy muck area is it appropriate for them is it going to cause diseases is it you know so there's there's many things we look for um, so up to one acre is I'm, I'm a little right is it 40,000 square feet uh, 40 43, 560. 43, 560. 43, 560. So six animals or, or fowl on up to one acre. How do, we, how do we realistically feel about that? I think it's too low. Well, I, I, believe, it's too low. I believe it's slightly low, yes. Okay. That's Absolutely. Cool. So I, I want Susie's going to come up. Just for one moment. Oh, just one moment. I'll be with you. I think that if we did like a... <clears throat> Zero two, zero. Uh, right. zero two number. Yeah, well, at the discretion, well, uh, you know, of the animal with the inspection of the animal inspector, for that, you know, so that you would see the property. Absolutely. Be able to tell, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, and when we're saying up to one acre, you could go out and have a half acre, and you don't want to say, oh, sure, have eighteen, <laughs> right, know, eighteen whatever, and right. not have this the room or the right. area right. for right. that. Right. So we could give a range because you also have to think about your neighbors as well and the cleanliness and how much you're going to actually you know be changing their bedding and everything else so there's a lot to consider when you take on any type of animal mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead, I'm sorry Mary Sansusi, Ram yes. Torn Road. Um, I'm just wondering is, is are there any hard and fast rules regarding horses in Dudley you need X acres for to keep a horse that would follow under the zoning bylaws. Zoning. Right. That would be yeah. under zoning. So z zoning, there's actually wordage. Um, I would have to look that, that up. Specifically addresses that. I. You'd have to check with the zoning, this um, building o official, um, zoning officer. He would tell you how he interprets the zoning bylaw. Yeah. Yep. See, that doesn't make sense that you're trying to regulate chickens. It's not just. We're not, just not trying to. Re re it's all animals. Right. It's not just chickens, it's all animals. If it's all animals, then it should say all animals. It does say it does all, say animals. all animals. Domestic? Yeah. 
So certain <coughs> domesticated animals and fowl. My question is, if I wanted fowl, to have two horses, how much acreage do I need? You'd have to go see the, the zoning. zoning. You'd have to go to the building department, see the zoning. But as the inspector, wouldn't you have that information? As the inspector, I'll come out and I'll inspect the barn that they're living in, and I'd also inspect the pasture. But you have to go through zoning to make sure that you have the um, appropriate amount of acreage to actually have the horses. If I have any questions with it, I will check with zoning to make sure that you have the adequate um, okay. acreage for it. Okay. And then my other question was, um, how did you come up with the $100 um, citation penalty? That's, that's usually standard, the $100 fine. It it's just a, seems excessive. It, it's a lot of times when you're, when you're given, um, I just know from other departments when you're given tickets, it's $100 for the first day, $200, $300. It can vary. So $100 is a normal fine because it's not, it's a fine. It's, that's the normal that we've been, you know, across the board, that's what we've seen. And that's what, I guess, every, everywhere else we were looking at had. Mm -hmm. the, the numbers, the dollar amounts today are, are, are taken into consideration. Uh, of what the dollar is actually worth anymore. Um, if we were to go out and say it was a $10 fine for chickens or $10 fine because your horse went onto somebody else's property, uh, $10 fine, they just peel it off and hand it to you and laugh mm -hmm. at you and walk away. It's not something that's an, a, a useful enforcement tool. You want to, if you're going to enforce it by having a fine structure, then what you do is you make it so that it's reasonable equitable and it hurts if you're going to punish people we're not here to punish people but if a policeman pulls you over and gives you a five dollar ticket for doing 40 miles an hour down in the 25 mile an hour zone you're going to laugh at it people laugh at at the three dollar parking tickets it costs them more to find a parking space in a garage than it does for the penalty until such time as somebody went out and said now it's fifty dollars every time you create a violation. Its use as a tool doesn't necessarily mean that the dollar amount must be applied. There can be warnings issued. There can be a lot of different, but it would be a limit, up to. Right. Um, where it says may be subject to a penalty up to $100, mm -hmm. I'm a fair lady. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially the first time. I, I will give a written warning the first time you know, that something occurs. But if it happens again, then yeah, there, you know, there will be a fee that, you know, will have to be paid at that point, at that time. But we're not out to get anybody. We just want to follow the rules and regulations that we set in place. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So are you, is that what you're thinking is a, for the one acre zero to something? So up to one acre. Yeah, for up, up lots up to one acre. And again, it, um, all animals, in fact, every, every one of our guides say, one of, every one of the guides where we're stating a number say that the animals or fowl must be penned within the setback specified at all times, that they must be penned on their property. Um, you know, because it's the complaints of my chick, so and so's chickens, loose chickens. So and so's cow yeah. is in my yes. backyard. So and so's this. So it, and we know things happen. That's yes. not that's not the issue. It's the constant, just like the dog leash law. You know, it, it, things happen. Everybody gets out at one time or another. That's not the intent. It's just to keep you try to keep them on your property. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so I'll take any suggestions anybody you wants. Didn't, you already have it up to one. Right, but well, how many animals? Oh, oh, six. They're on that one acre lot. So like Jen, at her discretion. So we need to put a comfortable number that if somebody wants to have 10 chickens or 12 chickens, but you can't have 10 horses on up to one acre. Right. First of all, right. so give like right. a right. zero so two. Zero two. Zero to what number of animals? That's what yes, they're trying that's to figure what we're out. Zero to six. So you can come right up. Huh? Zero to six. I think people. Well, yeah. Unless someone has five horses and one chicken. No, 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 no. But Jen, it would be the discretion of Jen. Right. If we just said zero to ten. 
30. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Deborah Easterbrook, 35, mm -hmm. Dresden Hill Road, Hill Road 2. So my concern is, I'm a farmer. Mm -hmm. My concern is people interested in farming. So people with under five acres, there are some people interested in farming. I don't want to discourage them. So my question is, so you've inspected some homes with animals, so you already have some numbers. So you know historically what people have for numbers. So can't you go by those numbers? Why would you pick six chickens? I'm sure people on your list have more than six chickens. Actually, we have just a couple that have more than six on our list. Uh -huh. Majority of what I look through had, well, we don't, you know, a few. But it changes. All of, right. It's right. constantly changing when it comes right. to chickens, all too. All we have a so. list of is what people what, complained about. Right, and who's right. registered, and, who's registered and with and the Board of Health. And people that are registered. Right. There may be, there are other properties out there that are keeping the animals, they're keeping the animals that are not registered right. and nobody's complained about. Right, right. What are the okay. average size of lots on your barn inspections? Are those farming people? Are those over five acre people? Oh yeah. Those are all over five acres. No, I, no. I, no not all of them, no. But I mean, Most there's some big farm. farms that we do have here in town that um, are well over five acres. There's quite a few of them. I just don't want to discourage new people coming into town. Right. We want homestead. Right. We're trying to promote right. agriculture, encourage Absolutely. agriculture. I feel like this will discourage agriculture. Well, and I do think that if we're the Agricultural Committee Commission, excuse me, is very, you definitely need to reach out to the zoning board and the planning board because we can't change anything that they have. They, we, we can only regulate something that's under our control. We right. can't take care of any of that and we're trying to just put parameters so we're just try right we're trying to set parameters so that if they go through the process get their special permit you're not going to end up with in excess in complaints like we we get right. well I mean I've been in agriculture all my life I have a bachelor of science degree from UConn I just feel like you're discouraging agriculture your numbers are too low and you're immediately discouraging well that's interested. that's what we're trying to that's what we're working on tonight by all means so i'd appreciate it if you could bump the numbers up oh somewhere. absolutely okay that's what you. we're definitely going to try to at least not don't want to speak for everyone sure come on up hi elaine christian 15 mill road hi um what road sir mill 15 mill road okay you you keep saying fowls on this six animals now six chickens only or, or are we talking animals or fowl all animals other or animals fowls. so if they've got seven chickens that means they cannot have any more animals on that property outside? well that's that's why we're working with our animal inspector to try to give a of what I'm variance yeah. like a yeah a here from like I'm just you know zero to 20 or so that and then she'll go out and obviously like we said 20 horses is much different than oh if absolutely had 20 ducks. absolutely I know. Know. <laughs> so that's why we wanted to get her input to see you know to give a variation so that she has something to work with yeah because it just keeps sounding like chickens and roosters no it's animals and fowl it okay. pertains to everything and that means someone can't bring in other animals because the next town doesn't have a place for them and then they automatically as a rule become this person's animals you're what? talking about facility time. near you Yes. It brings other animals in and yes. keeps them on their property? Yes. They don't have a special permit. There's no special permit. There's, they're not allowed to do that. It's being done. They even bring in sick animals. Nobody has. That's, that's. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's what I wanted to, to find it out. Is something that um, they, they are aware of and they are looking into. I just have not heard anything back yet. Okay. It's being looked into. Yeah. Just to just for the legalities of everything right. we want. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, ladies, I'll go ahead. It would be good to 
increase it because yes. then you know that lady who said what if three die you can right. only get six right. more so at least yeah. she falls right. under right. 10 if we keep it at six what she say she buys it at runnings and only sell you six you know what is she going to do so that person other people too so the wider range we can do zero to 12. That's what I'm thinking. One acre, like 12, like, you know, dozen chickens. When you go out, you can determine whether or not. In and out. Right. Their layers are getting old. They get another run. Right. Eventually, those layers. So that's, but up, you're not going to have 12 horses. You're not going to, maybe you can have 12 goats. Goats are little. I love goats. So zero to 12? Is that the consensus? On A. Just on gone up A. to right. That was A, right? Mm -hmm. A. Animals are foul. So cross up no be permitted on lots up oh. to one acre in size. Yes. Okay. There. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the next one, and then we'll re just re go through it all once we've established. So what do we do? This so this five, this is I can't six. see. Right. Uh, this is so this is maybe permitted on lots between one and three acres in size so that's a big difference mm -hmm. so that needs to definitely so the first one we went up by half we're gonna double this one it, I, um, because we're going up we're, we're we're doubling the acreage so we're tripling it, tripling really. it excuse me in a sense we should be either one up to 0.99 acres. Or should we go one to two on acres? One, and then one acre, because you can't, if you're at one acre, you can either, you can have 12 or you can have 30. Right. So it's less so than, it's less than one acre or less one than acre one to acre three. Or up to one acre. Up to, up to one acre. Up to being at 0.99. And then okay. you don't have to. Yeah. You have say to be, less than You one. have to be a little specific. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's less see. than one acre. <laughs> That's what we're agreeing on. What for the for, for A? Yes. Yeah. Oh, less than less one. than to one one acre. So that's less than one acre rather than up to one acre. Thank you. Less than one acre. And this one will be one to three acres. One. And up to three acres. Yes, one and up, up to lots one. of one, three one acres. Three. So we'll work with the. We haven't decided on a number. Mm -mm. Over one. We're comfortable three. doubling that. 12 to 24. Easily. Easily. That's what I thought. Greater than one, but less than three. Greater than one, less than three. <laughs> You're still on that? Yes, I am. I'm sorry, yes. Because I'm the one who gets the one phone calls, by the way. One, up to three acres. <laughs> Unless greater than one acre and up no, to three. No, you can't use greater than one because you've used less than one. So you have to use from one acre to... <sighs> one acre to... Up to three up acres. Up to three okay. acres. And then the next one would be greater than three Done. acres. But I mean, three acres, you could have... That's three acres, though. What if they have like 1.10 acres right. of land, and then we're have so a we huge still number fall of in chickens. That twelve number initially was the, the from the, from zero to twelve. So in that case, they'd have to stay within that twelve right. on the smaller side of the acreage. Right. But if they were up to the three, right. then so this one might have to be a range. This one might That's have so to definitely. be like twelve, 12 to. to 20, 12 to 34, 36. Just in my because we can't go lower than no, no, the one before. Right. 36. I'm, I, I'm good with it, but my, my whole thing is when I do my inspections and if I feel it's not adequate living arrangements, I'm going to be like, of course, you know, that's which inspection. that's what we, we need right. to, we need to work on something. Parameters. But yeah, no, I mean, I'm good with parameters. I just, whatever. Whatever. Thirty-six. Well, some people could put chicken wire around a doghouse and say they have the proper housing no. for their, you know, <laughs> mini pony. No. Doesn't work. Thirty-six. All right. So let's say if we did that one, let's move on to the next one. What did you? Put did we say twelve to twenty-four on? We that? said twelve to thirty-six, but again, we're gonna. Twelve to thirty-six. Well, we're gonna. There's a lot of. 
that gives you enough parameters. If you have a good three acre size lot, right. I mean, you go to You town. can fit quite a bit. Yeah, you like, can. We're <laughs> trying to put, push for three acre farming lots eventually, right? We want to. Does change. it have to be expanded out one to two? On the lot size, okay? It's like you having a water buffalo versus a canary. No. You've got, you've got, you've got, you've got, I think you need to segregate horses, cows, <coughs> goats, sheep, and <coughs> fowl. Because not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different file, and, mm -hmm. and it's a, it, it always have, comes down to uh, being take, taken care of properly. Right, and that's mm -hmm. it would be at her discretion. Right. Her, that's, her job. that's her job. <laughs> Black and iron place. You know, but. Can he, uh, can he move up to the mic so we get off in the air a bit, please? Sure, sure. I just think you need to uh, differentiate, you know, the, the cows, horses, sheep, sheep, pigs from fowl because the size of the animal alone mm -hmm. is whole, totally different. And are they being cared for properly? You know, and for guidelines, you know, if you send somebody out with guidelines, and you know, nah, you know it's, it's, it's apples, oranges, or grapefruit and grapes. You know, when you're talking about a large animal, four-legged versus wow and I don't think they do you know, the same when you're, you're the way the wording is at the moment okay to apply the same you know everybody's gonna wear the same shoe how they works well, and I need discretion interpreting that how, how would you how would you address it very seriously I'm, I'm looking yes, to see if you get seriously I don't you know I'm not could you go with out and identify each animal and say how many you can have per acre there must, there must be gui agricultural guidelines from the state about, about horses. Of course there are. Uh, and what, what not. Or national, uh, there, there's statistics all over the place. Okay, I'm not, I'm not aware of them because I don't have horses. And I don't have goats, and I don't have sheep, or I don't have pigs. Sorry, I, I, I'm not aware of that information. But you know, that, but again, just to say blanket, you can only have, you know, in this grab bag, you can only have 12 or 18 or 24. Depending on what you got, you should, certainly shouldn't have 24 buffalo on a. I mean, on a you, two you shouldn't lot. have 24 horses. Right. But you know, yeah. 24 chickens. Eh? You kidding? When would it's it's again it's. This is the keeping of the animals. It's not just the keeping of chickens. I know. This I understand that, but I think it needs to be differentiated in some some fashion because you're going you're going after one. That it's, they're not similar. They're similar in that they're animals or fowl. Okay, but and they're not humans, but you know they're they have different requirements, different uh, range range requirements. I, I agree. I mean, it's to to set a parameter for numbers of animals and to differentiating sizes um, might be a um, a little bit of a mistake or, or something to to be reconsidered. Let's put it that way. Uh, you certainly wouldn't want to, again, 24 goats or 24 sheep or, um, on a three-acre parcel because it says you can have 24 animals. Um, I think it would be really cumbersome to identify, to go in and start identifying every possible animal, an alpaca or a, a camel, a, a cow or, or a sheep. Or, and then if you have one cow, you can only have two horses. And if you have two horses and one cow, you can and only how do you have three mix chickens and versus the, and all of that. Do that. I think it's just the general space that these animals are going to be housed on falls in with, I think, again, it maybe does go on. Maybe there's inspector. a way to word it to leave it open uh, depending on the animal. That and that's the variance that we've discussed. Mm -hmm. Like that individual, if they want to have well, you, you 48 don't wanna, chickens only, this, they don't want to do anything but raise chickens. Well, you don't want to step on it either that, you, that you're going out there and you're going to allow somebody, you know, you've got it documented that you're going to allow them to have 24 horses, 24 animals. It doesn't describe one animal. Uh, maybe there, there's something else in the, uh, in the DAR, the uh, Division of Animal Regulations, and uh, that identifies animals and property sizes, and, mm -hmm. and maybe they have a generic term like, in the keeping of animals, you're allowed to, and refer to the chart, um, and that might be 
something to look at. We can definitely okay. see, look if, to that. see if DAR has a chart for the keeping of animals. Sure. So and with a with a popula uh, population density. So let's <coughs> we'll investigate. Look into we can that investigate and that. We won't change. We won't do anything <laughs> with A, B, C, or A, B, C. or C. Right. A, B, and uh, C. We As won't. Of, yeah. yeah. We will do some more investigation. Mm -hmm. See if we can pinpoint it and clarity. yeah make get clarity but regardless just so everybody knows it will all they still have to be penned in that will never change that those are mm -hmm. that's one of our big pen in your whole yard go for it I know they every you know animals are good but do whatever you but keep them in your yard that so won't change so definitely who's gonna research I'll research or, or Jen can I either one of us we can research it all together. <laughs> you okay. both can, and we'll see what we come up with. <laughs> so that we, and I understand, I just want to make it fair. It's reasonable to. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good point. So, okay. it's still a page. Good evening. It's still a page. Um, I think um, to back up what Tom was saying, you know, it should be more broken down because it oh, yeah. puts. It backs her in a corner, it backs Nelson into a corner, when it just says <coughs> the 24 animals. Right, right. And then they're, they're kind of put on the spot. See, Nelson, Nelson won't have any or anything over these regulations. Because well, I mean, I think it should go hand in hand with zoning. There must be something in zoning. See. If there isn't, there should be. That, well, again, <laughs> that's up to you. That's that's exactly. And I think when you're making these um, determinations, you should also maybe not to make it harder, but no. maybe break it down by zones in the town because this guy next door might have an acre and you're not going to want 24 animals or whatever it is running around on West Main versus wherever out in the woods it, it, <laughs> so, I, I, that, sure. and that that is one of the issues that it is very different yeah. but it's, 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 it's a, a tough special job permit you guys are have in front of you well it's actually you because the special permit is granted by you guys right and and that so I just I just think it I mean people can get very argumentative as you know really? <laughs> so I think it should be well you know well defined on Thank Maybe you. And that's small, medium, large animals and chickens or fowls separate. Thank you. I don't think it should be in the same. And this is why we're doing this because we want everyone's input. We just came up with something to pick apart. Yeah. Give I'll us guidelines. Keep that and animal and fowl separate, as you know. Yes. <laughs> and anything you can do. Yeah, with I, your part of it, you know. And I think maybe the wording um you know up to whatever at the discretion of the animal control officer because Absolutely. i could have an acre of land and two-thirds of it's wooded right and then the guy next door he could have an acre that's totally cleared and right. he's more set up he's got a barn i don't you know what i mean right and it's, so it, it's, i agree with you it's it's tough to differentiate each it's like you almost want to take each parcel and look at it individually you have to you know but we're trying yeah. to come up with some way of the permit fee yeah, that's, a, that, the, that's kind of the whole purpose of like inspections mm -hmm. Jen goes out and makes sure that the property is inspectable that it does meet certain criteria you're right you don't want to want to issue the same permit to a guy with one acre and and 90 percent of it or 75 percent of it is wooded and he's got x number of animals and then issue one acre to the guy next door that's completely cleared his method of keeping animals is more humane and more friendly to the animal than this yeah it's, it's a case by case basis mm -hmm. unfortunately mm -hmm. but that would make it, it subject to inspection yeah. and reasonable inspection standards uh, for the maintaining of animals yeah. we can definitely add that in thank you You want to talk? <laughs> I heard him say your turn. <laughs> you sure? We're, we're. I got no complaints. I like 
I, I heard, I heard, yes, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Um, so I think what we'll do is gather more information on that part of it and anything you guys can come up with and um, we'll continue the discussion and everything for the next meeting. Let me just find that. I believe it's, no, it's the 22nd. October 22nd. Yep. The next meeting will be Tuesday, October 22nd at 6.30 in this room. So hopefully by then we'll have some more differentiation between everything and mm -hmm. do some more research. Again, thank you everyone for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. Um, if you think of anything that you didn't get to say and you want to, you can always call Ted at the Board of Health or email him. He's more than happy um, <laughs> to speak with anyone. So if there's nothing else, I will entertain a motion. I have a motion to adjourn. I second. I have a motion to adjourn by Roberta and a second by Lori. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned at 742.